So I've been in the workshop today filming canvas diagnostic lessons for mechanic mindset. And I just wanted to share with you something that I was quite impressed with when using this Think Tool Max. Now, um, this isn't a sponsored video. Think Tool have sent me loads of equipment uh, this year actually to kind of share with you, share my thoughts on it. However, they're not uh, paid videos. Indirectly, they're, they're kind of uh, sending us these tools to uh, have a play with. Now, um, I would usually reach for a, a different tool for the type of testing I was going to do here. However, um, after using this Think Tool Max, um, this, this was the one to go for, really. So let me show you what I was doing. Basically, I'm putting different types of faults onto the canvas network and pairing that up with some of the learning that we've been doing around high speed cam. And what I really wanted to be able to show in the lessons was how the different types of faults are shown on the scan tool. So what I've basically been doing is putting faults on the vehicle, okay, then scanning the car to show you um, what faults come up, deleting the fault codes, putting a different fault on, and repeating just to kind of give you an idea of how the different faults affect the network. So once we get to this page, we've got the system topology, which we can view as a list, which is kind of what most of the older scan tools do. However, we've got the system topology here, which is really good for network faults as well. I also really like how this tool displays it like this. Okay, so I'm doing the full smart scan, which on this car, it hasn't got many control modules, but just look how quick it goes into it. Okay, so what was that? Like about 20, 30 seconds? We can see that we've got like loads of faults there. So clearing the faults as well is even faster. Okay, there we go. And then what I've been doing is basically going back. That kind of starts again. It, it brings up this system scan button again. And for example, can you can see I've put loads of, doing loads of work and wires on this. For example, we put an open circuit on the can lines to the engine control module. So that was can high and that is can low. And we've just put an open circuit on can high. Then what we're doing is going back to this here, doing that smart scan again. We can see that the engine control module didn't respond. We've got faults in the power steering and the ABS, also the instrument cluster. And then we, you know, we can quickly go in there to see the faults that we've got stored. These are, of course, mainly uh, communication faults. It's just really quick. And then what I really liked about this tool is that I could go over here, quickly repair that fault, clear the DTCs, which we've already seen was, you know, pretty fast. Of course, it hasn't done the ECM, so we could just enter that one now. Continue, clear the fault code because there would be one stored. Now it's green. Go back again, put a different fault on. For example, this is a power steering open circuit and then scan it again. And it was just so, so fast. I've not come across a tool um, that was as fast as this, as going in, clearing codes, coming back out, scanning it again, reading the faults and, and so on. So I just thought I'd like to share that one with you.